in times of turmoil, we may find ourselves in a state of agitation, something we can see even in the ways that we speak and write. We may find ourselves writing with all capital letters, or speaking with all capital letters, or using exclamation marks everywhere. And we may well have a lot to exclaim. But in times of turmoil, it can also be helpful to learn from writers and speakers who make their words resound powerfully without needing all caps or too many exclamation marks. So in the spirit of honoring the deeper power of words and the ways that they shape both our character and our conscience, I wanted to share with you a beachside excerpt from the Basic Cozy Punctuation course that explores Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s genius with words and just the right number of exclamation marks. Today I'm reading a book about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., which also gives me a way to talk about one of my observations as a writer about exclamation marks. Exclamation marks can be very powerful, but precisely because they're powerful, we can overuse them. If we use too many of them, paradoxically, their very power diminishes. For example, if we read Dr. Martin Luther King's great speech, I Have a Dream, we'll see that the exclamation marks are placed only where they're needed most. Let me read you an excerpt. This comes from the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963. Here he's describing his vision of a nation without racism. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day, down in Alabama, right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Notice how the power of Dr. King's words comes from the words and the rhythms themselves. It doesn't need any more exclamation marks than it already has, and in fact, would be diminished if it had any more. By the way, if you don't know this speech already, I urge you to read it, or better yet, to listen to it from beginning to end. It can teach you more about the power of language than any textbook ever could. 